she somehow attacks him and she starts telling him, I don't know why people have to lie to me, why they have to tell me that I smell so good and then end up just effing my brains out and the next thing you know they dumped me. I don't know why people want to do that to me. And it sounds like she should be saying it's a bill instead of Warlow. But anyway, she, I guess, hits him or something and Bill feels it. Bill comes to Sookie's house and she's like, I thought you were dead to me. He goes, I'm not here for you, I'm here for him. He goes, as your maker, I command you to come with me. We find out that Bill is Warlow's maker. Or Bill is his, whatever. Um, I was talking to some people online and I already knew Bill and Warlow were going to be, I guess, fighting each other or attacking each other. And what do you know? We were right. Next thing you know, they show, they also show uh, when Bill came up and found Jessica surrounded by those four fairies. And then um, Andy pulls up and he goes, Bill Compton, where are you? And he comes in there and then Jessica hides and he sees that all his doors have been drained dead. And I was hoping that they would all survive or at least some of them, but only one survived. And then he ended up taking her back to the sheriff place, giving her some vampire blood to bring her back. He meets up with Holly, and he is so distraught over losing the rest of his daughters that he wants to go after Bill. And then he, he tells Holly that the girl said that it was Jessica, and how he just can't believe all his daughters are dead. And he says he wants to go after him, and Holly is like, don't go after him. You can't fight Bill. Bill is a vampire. He'll kill you. We would just say that the rest of the girls went back to their mother. And then, that's the end of that. Um, like I told you, Pam, she got um, kidnapped. She got kidnapped by the governor. And then, Tara was going crazy. And she goes to tell Eric, they got Pam. They got Pam. They took her away in one of those trucks. He goes, when? He goes, just now they took her goes up there and he surrenders himself to say Pam I loved it because you know I love Eric and Pam I love the fact that they're making prodigy but also lovers best friends all of that and then um they show them at the uh little experimental place they show them experiment with the vampires how they have vampires uh, running track like they're mice they have them screwing somebody and they're just taking notes and everything. They show Pam going in there and she's all looking like she's in jail. And then um, when Eric and Pam or Eric and Tara go in there, they have them do this experiment where they're in a room full of vampires and they uh, have these little balls around. They grab the ball and the next thing you know they have to shoot each other. And Eric is a Viking, so he just shoots somebody, and he's the last one standing. He's in his uniform, like they all have him in his like v vampire jail uniforms. And then, then they um, he comes in. And he's like, "Has anybody seen my friend Pam? Has anybody seen her?" And then nobody says anything. And I'm thinking they're afraid of you, and they probably haven't seen her. Then he goes, "Well, I guess not." And then um, they show Pam, and she's in the psychiatrist's room, and she goes, he goes, will you sit down for me? He goes, I don't want to sit in this place. I want you to put me in the room where they were screwing each other, and I'll screw somebody in. Why do you want me to sit down and talk about my feelings? He was like, you either talk, you talk, you, you uh, get somebody to feed on, or you get this water down through blood. So she sits down and talks and goes, well, how do you feel to be a vampire? goes, yeah, I like it. He goes, what is it like to have a maker? He goes, well, I don't really have a maker anymore because he released me. He said, how did it feel? You're like, I feel nothing. But she got in the reads and, and tells him, I don't care about you. I care more about the tuna that you're reading. You know, your uh, humans want to feel pain. I don't feel any pain over Eric releasing me. I didn't see it coming, but I'm over it. I'm over him. I don't care. And she goes, you uh, humans say that you'll feel pain forever, but when we actually say it, we have to mean it. Because we live forever and you guys don't. You guys life are so uh, brief. And then she, uh, he sends in this Asian woman. She feeds on him. 
then they, they show uh, the governor, he's talking to Sarah Newland, and Sarah Newland doesn't want him to go after his daughter and put her in that uh, place. He wants to just kill her, forget about it. He says he can't do it. She says she wants to start a family with him. She says, okay, but I can't have this conversation right now. So she goes to Jason. And she comes on to Jason and says, you know, I never wanted to hurt you, but God wants me to sleep with you. And I'm thinking, Jason, don't give in. That's exactly what he does. He sleeps with her. And then Jessica comes in and she's all high from being on the um, fairy blood. She actually kissed Bill and Bill's just like, uh-uh, you're high, go sleep it off. And then she goes to Jason's house and she thinks that she's evil. She thinks that she uh, doesn't want to be tempted to hurt anybody, kill anybody. And Jason's, he, she's like, Jason, please don't tempt me. And Jason's like, I'm not tempting you. I'm not doing anything. Sarah comes out. She's like, well, well. Here, you didn't even tell me you had a vampire girlfriend. And then they get into it. And then she says something and uh, resends her invitation in Jason's house. She, He doesn't do what she does. It. And then she flies out of the house and they kidnap her. And um, he's going crazy, like, oh my God, I gotta find her. I gotta, I gotta uh, get Jessica back. He, she also asks Jason, do you love me? Did you love me? He goes, yeah, yeah, I loved you. I loved you. And I just can't get behind. I think he really liked her. I don't know if it's love. I don't like how they kind of are together because of Hoyt. What happened with that? Hoyt wasn't my favorite character, but I just hate how he got played. I didn't think he deserved it. But anyway, he goes crazy and wants to get in to the governor uh, where they captured the vampires to try to save her she comes there and Jessica comes there her and Tara hook up and they give them a little drop of blood and Jessica doesn't want her so they they all want to you know get the blood and the girl says something to her and Tara stands up and says she's alright or like leave her alone and then I guess she's still a little high and maybe she's a little afraid um what I didn't get was why they didn't show Nora. Nora got captured too. Where is Nora at? I don't even think Eric knows Nora got captured. What else do I want to Oh, Terry goes to his friend and he says that he wants him to kill him and he'll pay him how he can't live with what he did to his friend. And then he's like, okay, I'll kill you, but I'll do it for free. And uh, Arlene over here is and she's wondering what they're talking about. And I believe that she's going to be the one to stop him from wanting to get killed. And I think that that guy is rotten and that he might end up trying to uh, do something more than just kill him. Trying to kill his wife and kids or something. Uh, what else do happen? Oh, we find out Sookie. Found out that Warlow loves her and wants to be with her for an eternity. And that... um that's why he was promised to her and that's why he hunted for her for all his life and he goes back to the flashback where um he got turned Lither turned him and he went and killed everybody and that now is probably his son the great 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 grandfather the fairy grandfather and that uh Suki's parents wanted to kill her and that's why he killed them and then he she has Lala kind of summon her parents and how um I don't, this is part I don't understand how uh her father's spirit went inside Lala and then he tries to or puts her in the trunk and wants to take her to the uh, lake and drown her and I didn't understand that because I'm like Suki you can fight why didn't you fight hard you just let him tie you up put you in the trunk and kill you that's where it leaves off and then Warlow wants to kill the guy who is um who is the scientist that Bill has down in the basement and then um, they're having that conversation it was pretty good and in the end they have Pam and Eric fight each other and then um, she was like haven't you seen gladiators we want you all to fight I didn't like that I don't know what's gonna happen I really don't think Eric's gonna die I hope not um, Will is there she sees Tara I'm like I know her I can't really think of anything else that happened. Oh, Sam and Nicole sleep together. I see he gets into his father. I think he's stressing out about being the pack leader, about how he can't find Sam, how nobody will listen to him, tell his father to get out of my life. 
He was hot on that part, even though I think they should do more with his character, more with his storyline.